less than a mile from Miami International Airport, is the scene of a terrifying airplane disaster. NTSB investigators start collecting eyewitness accounts. A couple of the witnesses mentioned seeing flames coming from the number four engine on the right side. The investigators wonder if the plane suffered a major engine failure, which prevented it from getting airborne. Bob Benson searches for a telltale clue that the engines were working. Turbine blades bent sideways suggest they were still spinning rapidly when the plane hit the ground. We looked inside them, and it looked like they were all operating at high power settings, just from visual examination. They were definitely spinning. The investigators rule out engine failure but quickly get new information from the plane's air traffic controller. Just after takeoff, he, he went steeply nose up. I could see the tops of the wings. The discovery explains the flames witnesses saw. If a plane is pitched too steeply, airflow to the engine is interrupted, causing too much fuel to flow through the engines. It's simply an airflow issue. There wasn't enough air getting into the engines. And you get a lot of extra fuel that's on fire, and it's going out the back of the engine. NTSB investigator Evan Byrne now wonders why the plane's nose rose up so suddenly. What this told us early in the investigation was that we either had a problem with the airplane, something that the pilots did during the takeoff, or there may have been something wrong with the load.